Our conference theme is strengthening our free society. Philanthropy is central to the community institutions that make America a self-governing republic. Churches and synagogues, colleges and universities, museums and orchestras, hospitals and scientific research centers, youth programs such as Scouting and Little League, and grassroots problem solvers who help the needy and homeless in their neighborhoods. Private charitable giving sustains all of these institutions and gives them the independence to make their own decisions. Private charitable giving is also at the heart and soul of public discourse in, this, in our democracy. Name a great issue of public debate in this election year. Climate change, the role of government in health care, school choice, minimum wage laws, religious liberty. On all these issues, private philanthropy enriches civic life by enabling organizations with diverse viewpoints to articulate and spread their message. And philanthropy is crucial in driving the public policy and cultural reforms that will enable future generations to enjoy the blessings of liberty. Here are three great challenges in our society where philanthropists around this room are working to find solutions. The first is the crisis in education. One third of American fourth graders cannot read. And in an ever more competitive global marketplace, three quarters of 12th graders cannot meet world standards for math. The second is the slowdown in economic growth. 17% of men between the ages of 25 and 54 do not have a job. And the third is the collapse of the family. 40% of American children are born out of wedlock. This is catastrophic for children's future as a landmark study by Harvard economist Raj Chetty recently found, the single greatest determinant of regional variation in upward mobility is the proportion of children growing up in single parent homes. Over the next two days, we will be exploring how philanthropy can find solutions to these and other challenges. And as we do so, we are delighted to be holding our annual meeting in the charitable capital of the world. The United States is by far the most charitable country on, of all major countries, and Utah is by far the most charitable of all American states. In 2011, according to the Urban Institute, itemizing taxpayers in the Beehive State gave an amazing 4.8% of their adjusted gross income to charity, more than twice the national average. No other state came close. Philanthropists of all faiths and none can learn from the Mormon welfare system, which doesn't take a dime of government funding and combines work requirements with extraordinarily generous supports to people to move in need to help them move to self-reliance. Salt Lake City is also one of the nation's leaders in upward mobility, in part because of the strong families here and the strong work ethic of a state whose motto is industry. As in the rest of America, giving in Utah enables civil society to flourish. Thanks to private giving, Utah has an, a vibrant arts community, including the Sundance Film Festival and the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. Utah leads the nation in the percentage of children who participate in Boy Scouts. And at lunch today, we will be awarding the William E. Simon Prize for Philanthropic Leadership to John Huntsman Sr., lead funder of a great cancer institute. 